agency. The ocean is a vast and mysterious place, and that may be the understatement of the century. Ocean water covers 80% of planet Earth, and some of the deepest parts of the ocean stretch down around seven miles. Despite thousands of years of seafaring history, so much of our ocean is unexplored. In fact, it's often said that we know way more about the lunar surface than we do our own bodies of water. Sure, humans have sailed over the ocean, but what's lurking in the dark depths? In today's video, we're talking about 15 unexpected things found in the deep sea. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 15. Imprisoned Dugongs. Dugongs are sweet herbivore mammals often nicknamed sea cows. They have cute snouts and seem like friendly fish. They're quite a rare spot to humans and are endangered at the moment because of a history of overhunting. In 2016, it was discovered that a pair of dugongs had been captured and chained up as a tourist attraction in Indonesia. It seems that divers had caught a mother and baby dugong swimming off the coast of North Maluku and were transported to separate cages where they were locked up away from one another. The mother was shackled by her tail, and the baby was allowed to swim free in a cage. Pictures of the unexpected dugong enclosures were circulated online after local fishermen sold access to the mammals. The images were shared with animal welfare groups and the Indonesian Minister for Marine Affairs and Fisheries. Authorities were alerted, and the captured animals were released. I hope that they were taken back to the area that they were stolen from, especially if the mother had other calves too. I feel really sorry for these poor creatures. Number 14. Train Graveyard Of all the places you might expect to come across old wrecked trains, the bottom of the ocean really isn't the first on the list. How did two steam engines find themselves submerged under 90 feet of Atlantic water? The trains appear to be rare 15-ton Planet Class 222T models dating back to the 1850s and were found by diver Paul Helper, who was mapping the ocean with a magnetometer. Covered in 160 years worth of rust, the trains were found off the coast of Long Branch, New Jersey in 1985 and provided quite the mystery. Some historians believe that the locomotives were deliberately pushed off of a transportation ship in a storm to prevent the vessel from sinking. They were likely being transported from Boston to somewhere in the Mideast of the United States. Although there aren't any official records of the train, so we don't know for sure. The underwater train cemetery was later properly explored by Deep Explorers Inc., who were able to take video footage and photographs of the lost trains. The New Jersey Transportation Museum would like to raise the locomotives at some point in the future. What would you guys do if you found a full steam train while you were out diving? It must have been a pretty trippy sight. Number 12. Apollo 11 Engines Jeff Bezos found the F-1 engines from the historic Apollo 11 moon landing mission in 2013. Well, there's a sentence for you. The Amazon founder and multi-billionaire Jeff Bezos announced his plans to delve into the deep exploration in the early 2010s, and by 2013, he had found the engines that famously powered the Saturn V rocket in 1969. The engines were ejected after Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins were shot into space and fell into the ocean at the speed of 5,000 miles per hour. That would have made one heck of a splash. Bezos' expedition set off on the seabed worker and found the legendary pieces of space history at 14,000 feet below the ocean surface. The retail tycoon shared images from the dive on his blog and described the discovery. He said, We found so much. We've seen an underwater wonderland, an incredible sculpture garden of twisted F1 engines that tells the story of a fiery and violent end, one that serves testament to the Apollo program. We photographed many beautiful objects in Sichu and have now recovered many prime pieces. Prime pieces? Was he making some kind of weird on-brand pun? Nearly three years after the engines were recovered, they were delivered to the Museum of Flight in Seattle. Number 11. The Galilee Structure 
What is this bizarre undersea structure about? In 2003, a sonar scan of the Sea of Galilee discovered a large underwater stone structure. The Israeli sea appears to be covering up a mysterious cone-shaped structure that measures 10 feet high, 230 feet wide, and weighs an estimated 60,000 tons. To put that into perspective, it's bigger than Stonehenge. A closer inspection from scuba divers confirmed that all the structures are made from basalt boulders and likely built on dry land only to later be swallowed up by the sea. The rock formation has baffled historians who believe it could be 4,000 years old or more. Some think it belongs to the 3rd millennium BCE and could be an important burial site related to the ancient city of Bet Yara. For now, the reason behind the structure in the biblical sea is still a mystery, but what do you guys think is going on down there? Purple Blob at first glance, this blobulus purpulus, Latin for the purple blob, looks like a precious gem. While finding treasures like this in the ocean is rare, it's not entirely unexpected. However, this is not a sapphire or any other type of jewel. This is actually a living organism. In 2016, an underwater robot named Nautilus helped marine scientists find the creature. It was brought to the surface and the alien-like organism was found to be a newly undiscovered life form. Weirder still, the creature seemed to glow in submersible lights. The creature may well be a type of sea slug and was found 5,000 feet below the surface of the Pacific Ocean, in a canyon off the coast of Southern California. One of the scientists researching the blob had likened the blob to a disco ball with lasers. Weird. Isn't nature cool? I wonder what other life forms are lurking under the surface of the ocean. You know, this actually could be what some aliens look like. I know that they often are imagined as little green or gray men, but what if they're shiny purple, squidgy disco balls? Ice Finger of Death when you're studying the ocean, you probably don't expect to see frozen underwater lightning striking the ocean bed. That is certainly what the aptly named Icy Finger of Death looks like. Okay, this isn't its official name, but that's what people are calling this weird underwater phenomena, officially known as a brinicle. Discovered in the 1960s, these things are high drama. They form when sea ice forms out of salt, ultimately making the ice sink to the bottom of the water. When the sea stalactite reaches the bottom of the sea bed, it freezes everything it touches, meaning that it's curtains for animals like sea urchins and starfish. Basically, everything the brinicle touches dies, which is where it got its nickname. One scientist who has seen the icy finger of death firsthand said that they look like upside-down cacti that are blown from glass like something from Dr. Seuss's imagination. A time-lapse of a brinicle forming in Antarctica was filmed by the BBC in 2011 and delighted millions of people who watched their Story of Life documentary. Ironically, these icy fingers of death may have actually once been icy life fingers. It's thought that the sea stalactites were one of the conditions that made life on Earth possible, carrying important chemicals to the bottom of the ocean. The World's Oldest Shipwreck Imagine stumbling across the oldest shipwreck in the world. Wow, a Greek merchant ship dating back over 2,400 years was found deep down in the Black Sea off the coast of Bulgaria. The trading vessel dates back to around 400 BCE and was lucky to have been so deep down in the water in an area lacking in oxygen, meaning it was incredibly well preserved when it was discovered. The ship was found 6,500 feet below the surface of the water by researchers from MAP EEF Expeditions in 2018. With the assistance of a remote-operated vehicle, the team was able to observe the ship, which was likely traveling between the Mediterranean and the Greek colonies on the coast of the Black Sea. The ship is 23 meters long and made of wood. In order to explore the ship properly, the team claims they need more funding. As the ship is so far down into the water, it's hard to access it and find out more about its history. While this is the oldest shipwreck we've ever discovered, there are likely much older relics from previous civilizations lying at the bottom of the ocean. The Baltic Sea Anomaly In 2011, Swedish salvaging mission Ocean X came across a mysterious 200-foot circular object that seemed to emit a strange, mysterious electrical field. Sonar images were taken off the object 300 feet below the surface and it appeared to have a feature that could be consistent with ramps and doors. This, of course, led to a wealth in speculation that the strange object could be a crash-landed alien spaceship. And I can kind of see why. A lot of people think that it looks like, uh, kind of like a Star Wars Millennium Falcon. 
Most scientists believe the underwater formation is a collection of rocks transported there by glaciers and could have been laying there at the bottom of the ocean for 140,000 years. However, others are more adamant that something strange is afoot and I think it could be evidence that UFOs have inspected Earth. We may have more answers soon. Ocean X's Peter Lindeberg has suggested that a new expedition could be in the pipeline. Ocean X appears to be planning on capitalizing on the discovery by potentially transporting wealthy tourists to visit the site in a submarine. SS Gersapa in 2011, the shipwreck of British steam merchant ship SS Gersapa was discovered off the coast of Ireland by U.S. Expedition Odyssey Marine. The ship had been lost in 1941 after being targeted by a German aircraft after she broke away from a convoy in a storm. Setting course for Galway Harbor, the ship was torpedoed and sank in 20 minutes, taking 11 crew members, 70 sailors, and a valuable cargo of silver, tea, and pig iron down with her. The 412-foot ship was discovered 70 years after it sank, 15,400 feet below the surface of the Atlantic Ocean, 300 miles southwest of Galway Bay. So deep down, a special operation took place to attend to the wreck. It seems that the ship had an estimated value of $200 million of silver on board. By 2013, 48 tons of silver had been hauled up. Interestingly, Odyssey Marine will retain 80% of the cargo's value after striking a deal with the British Department of Transport. Odyssey's chief marine archaeologist, Neil Dobson, said, By finding this shipwreck and telling the story of its loss, we pay tribute to the brave merchant sailors who lost their lives. Nothing pays tribute like a few hundred million in the bank. <laughs> Underwater Crop Circles Strange patterns began being documented on seabeds off the coast of Japan in 1995. Divers would return to land with stories and sometimes even photographs of weird formations. Japanese photographer Yoji Ukata captured a photo of the phenomenon for himself while he was diving off the southern tip of Japan near Amami Oshima. The diver claimed the patterns he saw were 80 feet below the surface and spanned 6 feet in diameter. The strange circles were so elaborate and ornate that they truly looked like the work of an intelligent design. Some people began to think that aliens might have been the culprits. If in doubt, blame it on the aliens, right? It turns out that the mysterious geometric patterns were the result of a puffer fish looking for a girlfriend. That's right, a puffer fish. It turns out that the male puffer fish make unique ornate geometric patterns on the seabed by flapping their fins and swimming in different directions. The extra effort is to attract females. If they're impressed, they'll choose to reproduce with the hard-working male fish. So, not aliens then? Darn. Pufferfish keep on coming with the surprises, don't they? Just when you thought that the most interesting thing about them was that they could puff up all big when they're threatened, you find out that they're actually a deadly poisonous food delicacy. And then you find out that they make some kind of elaborate sensual art. Pufferfish are more interesting than most humans I know. Red Toxic Tide Okay, so it isn't a deep sea thing, but you don't expect to see blood red water when you're at the beach, do you? If you did, you'd probably panic and think there'd been some kind of massacre or shark attack and run in the other direction. While you're right to be afraid, red tides aren't the work of Jaws or some kind of biblical end of times. They're actually toxic algae blooms that smell as bad as they look. The first noted red tide came about in 1530 off the coast of Florida, freaking out seamen when they found swaths of dead fish. The reason behind the red tide is an increased blooming rate in ocean plant life, usually spurred on by a heat wave. The organisms multiply at such a quick rate that they make the water they live in appear red. The red water is actually really dangerous to wildlife and humans because of natural toxins present in the living water. Dead fish will wash up on the shore during red tides, which explains the smell. Dolphins, sea turtles, and manatees can also become gravely ill during red tides, and humans are at risk from eating contaminated seafood that was poisoned by red tide in their lifespan. Beyond that, some of the toxins in the water can be aerosolized, which means they can be carried through the air and affect people's breathing. Red tides can appear all across the world, and vigilance is key. These days, a red tide is enough for countries or states to declare states of emergency. The Blobfish I'm here to make a case for the Blobfish. So the Blobfish rose to fame circa 2013 when it was hailed the ugliest animal in the world. 
and I kind of get it. These guys have a face that perhaps even a mother would struggle to love. Although that being said, some people loved them just because they were so ugly. Some people found the gloopy droopy fish so funny to look at and they joined a veritable cult of blobfish lovers. Keychains and plushies were made and people started popularizing them as cartoon characters. Found at depths between 2,000 and 4,000 feet below the water off the west coast of the United States to as far out as New Zealand, life underwater isn't the same for blobfish as it is on the surface and in their defense it needs to be said that they aren't naturally that ugly. How do you think you would look 4,000 feet underwater? Well, chances are you'd crumple in on yourself. But being a blobfish on land is way more intense for their bodies than being a human at the edge of the stratosphere. In short, they look the way they do because of the difference in pressure. Down below the surface of the water at their natural depths, they look way more like, well, fish rather than blobs. Yonaguni Juma. In 1986, something strange was discovered off the coast of the Ryukyu Islands in Japan. One diver noticed strange formations in the water kind of resembling human architectural structures. On investigation, a strange pyramid-like rock structure was discovered with marine geologists generally accepting that the structure looks to be man-made. Observers claim that they can see columns, roads, pillars, and even castles that would prove that an undocumented civilization lived in the area around 10,000 years ago. Some people believe that the discovery is evidence of the lost continent of Mu. The land of Mu and Atlantis are often interchangeable, but both feature heavily in myth, legend, and folklore. Others believe that the formations have come as a result of natural phenomena like earthquakes or strong currents. We still don't have an answer that solves the mystery of Yonaguni Juma. The Antikythera Mechanism the Antikythera mechanism is one of the most fascinating underwater discoveries of all time. In 1901, so a full 119 years ago, a 2,000-year-old Roman-era shipwreck was found off the Greek island of Antikythera. The ancient boat contained a literal boatload of artifacts including a curious object which appeared to be a cog-like device with a possible gear. The weird instrument totally baffled scientists and historians for over 70 years until finally it was concluded that it is a rudimentary analog computer. Yet yeah, the ancient Romans had computers. Sure, they weren't in the same league as laptops or iPhones, but the Antikythera mechanism was so technologically advanced for its time that nothing surpassed it for around 1500 years. The computer is a complex clockwork device composed of 30 bronze gears seemingly used to track and predict astronomical positions. Historians have been shocked by how advanced it was, with some finding its existence nearly impossible. It's so sad to think that the knowledge of this kind of technology was lost in the Dark Ages. Imagine where humans could be now had we kept on track. To think this ancient computer was just sitting there at the bottom of the ocean, totally lost for thousands of years. That was the 15 unexpected things found in the deep sea. What discovery surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments section. If I'm thinking from the perspective of the person who found the items, I'm gonna have to go with the ice finger of death or the world's oldest shipwreck, but they were all pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comments section. We love hearing from you.